This is how you turn off Gemini completely on your Samsung Galaxy Android phone. That's the Gemini option when you do a long press on the power button of your Samsung device, your Samsung phone. Instead of the power menu, you see the Gemini prompt and you can use the volume down and power button to see the power menu if you want to use Gemini like that. But I show you how you can disable Gemini and turn it off completely. Open the settings up on your Samsung Galaxy Android phone and then scroll all the way down to advanced features. Here press on side button and then long press. Then power off menu, choose that instead of the digital assistant. And now when you long press on the power button, it will show you the power menu instead of a Google Gemini or some Google assistant or some other kind of AI assistant. And the next step, this is where you turn off Gemini completely that even the app doesn't work anymore. You find Google in the settings and then tap on all settings. And here you scroll, you keep scrolling all the way down until you see search assistant and voice. And in this menu here, it's a, it is a bit confusing. Gemini and Google assistant, they have pretty similar settings but to disable gemini you have to go into either google assistant or gemini if you're trying to disable gemini because of the hey google option you can actually disable that separately on the choose your digital assistant from google page settings page you have gemini and google assistant but there you have also this link you can turn off your digital assistant from google at any time here you have the option to change your mind and cancel the change but if you press turn off now google gemini is completely turned off and i will show you that not only the power button doesn't do anything which you could have gemini working without that but even the gemini app itself it doesn't work you have the option to turn it on but this at this point you might simply just uninstall the google gemini app thanks for watching i hope this helps you